Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a what's in my travel makeup and skincare bag. So I've been doing quite a bit of traveling out of state the past couple months here, and I've been getting so many requests to share a what's in my travel bag. So that is what I'm going to do today. I'm gonna to walk you through both my makeup and my skincare bag and share what is inside. I actually just got home from a few days in LA and I am getting ready to unpack. So I thought this is a good time to show you what I brought with me as I unpack everything and put it away. So if you are interested to see what is in my travel makeup and skincare bags, why don't we go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my makeup bag. This bag is actually from a Flower Beauty. They sent it to me in a PR package a while ago. If I can find it, I will link it. I have seen it on the website before, but I know sometimes it goes out of stock. And I really like this one for makeup. It just has the Velcro snaps right here. But then it opens up to a fairly large bag. Um, you have multiple components here and then you also have a smaller uh, zip pocket and I've never had any issues traveling with it. It's, I mean, it's my pretty much my number one um, traveling makeup bag. So I really enjoy the quality on this. Now, of course, it's always different what I pack for my trips because it depends on where I'm going and why I'm going and all of that. But like I said, I was in LA for a couple days. Uh, I actually did have to spend the night overnight in an Omaha hotel because I flew out of the Omaha airport, which is about a two hour drive for me. And because my flight was originally scheduled for 6.48 in the morning, I didn't want to be driving at, you know, 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. So I chose to get a hotel to spend the night at. So I was gone Wednesday night in Omaha and then Thursday and Friday night in LA. So I was gone for three nights total, um, just so you know. And then in LA, I was going to an influencer holiday party on Thursday night and then also the Magic Links holiday party on Friday night. So I had two different parties to attend. So I definitely wanted to have, you know, kind of some glam makeup options in here. It's a little bit different than when I was visiting my family over Thanksgiving and knowing that I was just going to be hanging out at the house all day and all of that. Um, I didn't pack quite as much or quite as like full coverage and lashes and and things like that. So again, kind of just depends, but that is what I was doing on this most recent trip. So usually when I go, I, I divide these into an organization that, that makes sense. Like when I'm packing my bag, I usually do this for all face products. This I do for eye and lip products. And then I usually put brow products in here. But again, when I was packing to come home, it was just kind of like raw, throwing everything in my bag. So it's not quite as organized. But again, I just thought that I would share this with you as I'm getting ready to uh, unpack everything. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this uh, first compartment. I did throw my dry shampoo in here. Uh, this was actually in a different bag when I was going down, but again, I was just kind of throwing random things in at the end, but this is my favorite dry shampoo from the dry bar. This is the detox dry shampoo. This is a little mini size. I lost the cap many, many moons ago, but really enjoy this. I tend to take dry shampoo with me on a lot of trips, not only for like actually needing dry shampoo, but also just sometimes it can help give your hair like a little bit of a revive, even if I don't necessarily need to like wash it or anything. It just kind of helps like give the hair some massage. So uh, that is the dry shampoo that I had in there. Um, I packed this primer. This is the Smashbox of Photo Finish Primerizer. I have been trying to finish off this primer. I just mentioned it in my most recent Shop My Sash Bag and uh, I used it both uh, days, Wednesday and, no, Thursday and Friday on my trip so doing pretty good at getting that down there i also did pack this little guy from farsali to use in case i just like fully ran out of that primer this is the skin tune blur perfecting primer serum again just wanted a backup in case i ran out of it and this is this came in the four pack the skin uh skin goals i think it was called so i felt like it'd be really easy to fit into my bag i also did pack this one that came in the set this is the volcanic elixir this is actually an overnight treatment so i brought this with me as skincare but because i didn't put it in my skincare bag i forgot that i brought it but i um, i've used this a couple times trying to get a review on it but it is an, an overnight serum versus like before makeup and and all of that it's kind of like its main purpose 
Uh, for my foundation, I did bring the Natasha Denona Foundation X Plus foundation. I have the shade 40N. This is in my current Shop My Stash bag, so um, I just thought it would be, make sense to put it in here. And a reason that I chose this out for the month of December was um, usually in the colder months, I go for a little bit more full coverage. I also knew that I was going to be going to LA and for some events where I'd want a little bit more coverage and this is also a really nice long wearing foundation and I uh, still like the finish too. It's a little bit more mattifying but my skin is turning a little bit more oily these days so I don't mind that and I did wear this both Thursday and Friday as well. As a backup and as like a just in case, I did bring my Wonder Beauty foundation. This is the Nude Illusion Liquid Foundation. I have the shade light medium. I typically bring this on every trip just it's just one of my favorite foundations it's also uh, plastic versus glass so I feel a little bit more confident traveling with it and I don't know I just tend to like to have a couple different options with a few things I pack two as, as a just in case but that is the foundation uh, I have a nail polish in here this is from lights lacquer which is Kathleen lights um, nail polish brand this is an HBIC this is what I have on my toes and I brought it with me as a just in case like um, my toenails tripped or anything. I remember being in New York for Gen Beauty and I was wearing flip-flops one day and I like tripped on the sidewalk and I scraped my toe on the cement and it scraped off my nail polish and then I didn't have it with me. So I brought this as a backup uh, just in case, you know, I was wearing flip-flops or heels with open toes or anything. This was like my just in case so I didn't have chipped toenail polish, but I really like that shade. Uh, I did bring a couple different powders. This one here is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Finish Skin Perfecting Powder in 2. This is in my project pan, and I just wanted to have um, just kind of like a lightweight pressed powder for like touch-ups and having this go in my clutch on the nights of the party. And then I also did bring my Hourglass uh, Translucent Veil Powder. This is the mini. This is just one of my favorite setting powders. And I like this one for like as I'm getting ready to really pack on for my concealer and also my face. Because again, like I said, I'm more oily right now. So this is nice to set my foundation with just makes the skin look really nice so wanted to have both options there uh the highlight that i packed is my collaboration with ofra this is the march beauty word highlight so you have two pillow talk and two star island in there it's just like my favorite highlight i mean obviously like i just bring it everywhere with me i remember meeting annette's makeup corner at a thursday's party and at one point she asked me what highlight i was wearing and i was like oh it's it's my collab with Oprah. She's like, I don't even know why I asked. Of course, that's what you're wearing. I was like, oh, yeah, sorry. I felt, I don't know why. I felt like kind of silly, but I was like, you know, it's just, it's like my favorite. So it just makes sense. Okay, so also in here I have from uh, the Balm. This is the Take Home the Bronze Bronzer. So I can use it as a contour and also bronzer. Also in my current project pan. For my concealer, I brought along the Milani Conceal and Perfect Longwear Concealer in the shade Light Natural. Really nice concealer. Um, I've been mentioning this recently on my channel. I put it in my Affordable Favorites in 2019. I'll link that video if you haven't seen it. It's really good. And then I just wanted this small blush here. This is from Tarte in Parte. Uh, it's just a really nice pinky blush. I think that's pretty. And again, it's small. I like to try to do minis. I can't do minis of like everything sometimes when I travel and there's certain things that I like really want. So, uh, but that is a good one. Um, in here is my Benefit, Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade 2.5. This is like my perfect brow shade match and I love the Benefit Precisely My Brow. It never lets me down. I have another brow pencil, but for some reason that was the only one that's in there because again, Way Home gets a little bit on the sloppy side. But going in to the next compartment here, so I also had my perfume. This is from Physicians Formula, the Butter Paradise um, fragrance here. This was in the butter box that Casey Holmes did in collaboration with Physicians Formula. My palettes are kind of on top here. So I brought the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sultry Palette. Uh, so I have been actually taking this quite a bit with me. I also took it to Miami. Um, there was... I didn't take it to my family because again this is like a little bit more on like the glam side that I felt like I needed to just like hang out at my sister's house but I've been really enjoying this palette. I wish this wasn't a limited edition and like not available anymore because I just think that it's so beautiful. So um, for one of the parties I did wear this one. Um, I had mixed a little bit of birch and twig into my crease. I put cinder in the middle and then it was pearl. No. 
It was rose quartz that I put on the inner part of my eye and then pearl in my inner corner and I thought it made for a really pretty look. So I've been traveling quite a bit with the sultry. And then I also did bring the ColourPop Going Coconuts. I also took this one to Thanksgiving and this is what I wore uh, each of the days that I was down visiting my family. I've been really liking this palette a lot more than I thought that I was going to. Uh, it's just, you know, obviously it's like a nice and neutral palette. It's really pretty and you can do an all matte look. You can add in some of the shimmers. This is actually a really cool color and it has like some of the shimmer actually stays on the lid, which sometimes a brown with like this glitter shimmer packed in doesn't always stick around, but this one does. And again, I think that's a pretty, a pretty palette, nice to travel with. So that one is from ColourPop. Uh, the other brow pencil that I did travel with is the, the Benefit Goof Proof. This is the shade three, which is just a little bit dark for me. But again, I like to bring two, you know, in case anything crazy happens, you run out, you end up forgetting one, you know, what a disaster. So. Uh, for my setting spray, I brought the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is the Summer Solstice scent. This is just so good in making your makeup last. I do know, I, I touched on it recently, how it has the denatured alcohol, which isn't always great for your skin. But um, I try not to just wear this like every single day. But when I have something like this and getting my makeup, you know, done early and wanting it to last till like 1 a.m., this really helps keep it in place. So really enjoy that one. And that's the travel size. Uh, let's see, I have, I know I have a bunch of different lips in here, so, oh, I also probably have some lipsticks in one of my clutches, because I don't see one of my lipsticks that I brought with me, so um, I'll have to try to find that one, but these are just mini liquid lips from Ofra. I, I really like their formula, and a lot of times I sneak this red in. This is in Atlantic City. It's one of my favorite shades from Ofra, but sometimes adding a red lip can just be kind of like bold and I just never know if I'm going to be feeling it that day. I almost thought I was going to for the Magic Links party. I was wearing like a red bralette too so I thought it would be fun and then I chickened out because I, I do wear nudes mostly but this is Sanibel which is a really beautiful color and then I also have the Apricot Dream and some of my hair. Sorry about that but this is the Apricot Dream lip gloss. One of my favorites. I use it all the time. It's usually in my purse but I really do like that formula. This is a lip liner from ColourPop. This is in Little One. It's just a nice nude um, shade just in case that I would need it. But I also did bring with me the ColourPop, or I'm sorry, the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat. And this is in Iconic Nude. This is just one of my favorite lip liners. I used it quite a bit there, so I probably will need to sharpen it again soon. But uh, I was able to visit the Grove and I went to the Charlotte Tilbury store and it was so beautiful. I was in there even though... I actually just received a really generous PR package from Charlotte Tilbury. She sent me her holiday stocking and I really didn't need to buy anything, but I still went in because it just looked beautiful and it was on the inside it was so gorgeous, but really enjoy this. I wore this the first night with the very Victoria lipstick, which I just hauled in one of my recent Sephora hauls and it might be still in my clutch or in my bag, but I know for, it definitely came home with me though. So I'm, I'm going to try not to panic here. Uh, some of the other lip options I brought or is this the only one this is from Mac this is in honey love this is actually in my project pan as well so again I thought I would just throw it in um, just to like try to get some more use out of it but I ended up not wearing this one but um, that is from Mac and then my mascaras I packed two because that's just who I am but these are both minis the milk Kush, milk Kush and the NARS climax uh, just two of my favorite mascaras. I do also have a lotion in here. I like to travel with one. This is the Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. Um, I can use it for my hands or my legs or anything like that, but I like the travel size as well. I did bring along some lashes in case I want it to go a little bit glam. These are from Stelazi, the Fierce Lashes. I ended up not using them. I actually just need to cut and trim them because I'm not sure. I don't think you can bring scissors through TSA and I usually just take a carry-on. I just need to cut them because then I get to like wanting to wear them and I'm like, oh yeah, I can't <laughs> um, because I don't have scissors to trim them. I also brought my House of Lashes Lash Glue and my Tarte Little Lash Helper in case I decided to wear the lashes, which I ended up not doing. I also brought a glitter just in case I wanted to get a little bit crazy. I know it was holiday parties. This is from Urban Decay in uh, Midnight Cowboy, just a gold glitter. And then finally, I just have some liners. Of course, I brought two regular liners. These are both from Milk Makeup. They're long wearing liners in CEO and Boss. Boss is a black, CEO is a brown. And then I brought the Ofra Verified Liquid Liner, mostly in case I decided to do lashes. I would like to do a wing with it. 
But that is everything that I had in my makeup travel bag, again, with that Charlotte Tilbury Berry Victoria lipstick. Well, I will have to make sure it gets returned to my collection. And I thought it would also be fine, fun to show you what is in my skincare bag, so let's hop into that. So moving over to my skincare bag, I usually take this one because I do try to take a lot of minis. Typically, things can fit in here. Sometimes I do have a larger one if I do need to switch to it if I'm being gone for even more days, but this was able to fit everything um, and even some hair products and a scrunchie i typically always have a scrunchie on me um, but like this here is a hair product this is from biosilk this is their hot thermal protectant mist <laughs> it's really hard to read on there um, it's about gone but that is before i would like straighten or curl my hair I actually won this at the influencer party on Thursday. There were some different giveaways in there. And this is from a fave for this is their texture takeover oomph enhancing hairspray. So I was able to use this on Friday after I curled my hair because I didn't actually bring a hairspray with me. So I was excited about that. And it's a smaller guy, so I think that it's fine to go through TSA. And I went through the pre-check and everything worked out, so that was good. Um, I do also have my toothbrush and toothpaste, which isn't super exciting, but that's where I put it. I have just like a travel toothbrush and a travel toothpaste that I always leave in here because I was so tired of like forgetting to grab my regular ones. Uh, I have a couple products from Murad. I hauled these recently, and so I've just been putting them in my travel bag so I can use them and try them out. So the AHA BHA Exfoliating Cleanser and also the uh, Night Fix Enzyme Treatment it's from Dermalogica, the Special Cleansing Gel. I'm about out. I have the bigger version too, so I'll probably put this in the empties to say like, you know, I've gone through the full thing uh, and then fill it back up because I really do like this one also. I've been using it for several years now actually. Uh, the eye cream, I'm really just trying to use this one up and it's easy to travel with. This is from number seven, the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Eye Cream. So I tend to use this in the AM and PM there. I generally will bring an oil with me. This one is from First Aid Beauty. This is their, uh, it's like really worn off, but the Ultra Repair, I think it's like cannabis and oat dry oil or something like that really do like this one i've used it quite a bit i typically always have this one in my travel bag so it's definitely been getting a lot of use out of me sometimes i like to use an oil uh, at night and i just feel like it makes my skin look a little i don't know just more like hydrated in the morning too especially when i had dry skin i would go for this quite a bit but even now i still continue to like to use it and again i just try to have some oil in my bag uh, i also do have some floss two different things of floss because that's who I am really enjoy floss uh, this is from Clinique this is the take the day off cleansing balm so I have been using this to be able to take my makeup off at night instead of using a makeup wipe I have put this one into my travel bag and this is the mini version I do also have a full size uh, but this is a mini I picked this one up at Ulta in one of their 21 days of beauty it was like buy three travel sizes and get a fourth one free so that's where i picked up the clinic and because so many people rave about it so i've been excited to use that uh, i do have my laneige lip sleeping mask this is a mini and this is about gone i didn't realize how low it was and i opened it wednesday night in omaha and i was like no this better make it through the trip so i was trying to be a little bit stingy with it but this is just my favorite i have the full size that i keep at night too i already rebought the holiday set with these that comes with more minis so i'm definitely going to replace that uh, I've been using this as my moisturizer, the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream. Again, I'm just really all about the skincare minis. I love minis in general, but especially for my travel bag, because with makeup, I tend to pack like so much and I want so many different options. And with skincare, it's like if I can go with my minis, then that's great. And I like this one. It's a nice lightweight moisturizer. Again, usually I try to go with something that's a little bit heavier, but because my skin has been changing and I'm more oily, I'm dealing with like clogged pores and hormonal breakouts and all of that this is a more lightweight version but not like too too lightweight I don't know I, I like the I like the consistency of it so I've been enjoying that one I have from drink elephant their TLC uh, Frambus glycolic night serum this is also a travel version as well I've been a big fan of this for a long time so it's really nice to have the travel size because it's a lot slimmer than the the big full-size one so I like to put that into my bag 
Um, this product I've been raving about, this is from Good Molecules, their Squalin Oil. So um, this is also another facial oil, and I like to use this one, especially in the morning. I just reviewed this in my latest Makeup Monthly and had really good things to say about it, and I love it so much that I wanted to make sure it came in my travel bag, and I think it's been really helping with, uh, especially like my hormonal breakouts around my chin and mouth and all of that. Uh, this is another product from Murad, the Revitalix Recovery Serum. So I use this serum in the AM. And then I put in here from Laneige the Lip Glowy Balm in Grapefruit. And I've reviewed this on my channel and I said it felt like it made my lips drier. And I noticed that in Alabama and I used this um, the morning, Thursday morning, and I felt like my lips were so dry. I was actually switching to my, um, the balm coconut no not the balm um it's the balm.com is the name of it from glossier that's usually in my like mini backpack that i like to have with me because that's what i take as like my purse on the plane and i kept switching to that one so i don't know this one just seems to dry out my lips too much it's just almost hard i, I figured i could throw it in my travel bag to still use it up um because i was like if i don't use it like super consistently maybe it's not a big deal but it's still i don't know it tends to bother me the last thing in there is just a watch i have no idea why this watch is in my skincare bag don't don't ask me i'm gonna have to take that out but that's where my watch ended up but other than that that is everything that was in my travel skincare bag also a lot of minis um you know some hair products that you saw too a lot of minis there but this is why i enjoy minis so much other than that that is everything that is in my makeup and skincare bag i'm sorry if you've heard my dog walking around the entire time i'm filming at our kitchen table and we have all hardwoods and she's just been walking around annoyed that i'm not paying attention to her so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video though. I've had a lot of requests to, to show what's in my travel bags. So I hope that you enjoyed it. I'll link everything down below if you are interested in, in anything. Uh, yeah, other than that though, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go and I will see you in my next video.